Visakha, known as the city of destiny, is spread on the coast of Bay of Bengal in Andhra Pradesh. Being an abode of natural beauty, this city attracts a large number of tourists and is developing by leaps and bounds. Andhra University, which gained national prominence with its unique style of offering higher education, is situated in this city. Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. Uh, I welcome you all to a brand new episode of Gita and I hope you are uh, really being uh, enthusiastic uh, with these videos, with these video lectures and uh, getting inspired with these video lectures since a year. Uh, so thank you for uh, all of you for supporting us. And I also want to thank our Honorable Vice Chancellor Garu, Professor PVCT Prasad Reddy Garu for giving this wonderful opportunity of hosting this platform and also want to thank our beloved principal Garu, uh, Professor Peri Srinivas Rao Garu for uh, supporting this platform. Now, without further delay, I would like to hand over the session to uh, Mohan, who is today's anchor. Uh, what do you mean? Thank you, Vinil. Good evening, one and all. This is K. Mohan Subhash. I will be sharing the screen with Vinil for this Gita episode. I consider this as my pleasure to extend to all the attendees a very warm welcome on behalf of Gita Tech Talks, a virtual platform to enrich technical temperament of student fraternity who has clubbed all of us for this virtual meet on pharmaceutical sciences, opportunities and challenges. On behalf of Gita Tech Talks, I cordially welcome our chief guest for today's episode, Professor Girija Shankar. Our chief guest doesn't require any introduction. He is known for his ocean of knowledge in pharmaceutical sciences. He has contributed to the nation's upliftment by sharing his knowledge to lakhs of students as a professor in pharmaceutical technology in his career spanning over around 27 years. As a student, he used to top every class. His academic qualifications include, he graduated from Andhra University College of pharmaceutical sciences in September 1988. Meanwhile, he worked on a project on formation and evaluation of SR tablets of diclofen sodium. He was honored with M Pharmacy measuring in pharmaceutics in June 1991 from Andhra University. He was also awarded with PhD in pharmaceutical sciences from Andhra University itself in 2000. His thesis works include studies on microcapsules of Nifedan and its diprosis in HPMC, MEC for oral control release. Moreover, his academic achievements include, he was awarded with National Merit Scholarship in SSC by Ministry of Human Research Development. He, was all, he also bagged first rank in intermediate. Moreover, he was awarded fifth rank in B Pharmacy by our university. He bagged all India rank 18 in gate 1989. He was also awarded with AP State Best Teacher Award in 2019. There are many more to discuss about Professor Girija Shankar sir. Professor Girija Shankar sir has proved himself as best of men with his exceptional work in all fields. Be it a student, be it a professor, be it a research scholar, be it a scientist in an industry, or be an administrator. He is the all. He is man with exceptional honors, research works, and awards. Now, I would like to call upon our revered guest, Professor Grija Sankar, to share his views and expressions and his moreover experience regarding the pharmaceutical sciences and just tell about the current opportunities and challenges in pharmaceutical sciences. So over to you, sir. Right. So am I audible? Is it OK? Hello? Am I audible? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're audible, sir. Yes. Yes. yes sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mohan Subhash. Thank you for your uh, nice introduction. Uh, it's uh, my privilege uh, to speak uh, a few words about my profession, pharmaceutical sciences. 
uh, in uh, Gita platform. So today I had this opportunity. I thank you for the uh, organizers for giving me this opportunity to tell few thing, few words about our uh, pharmaceutical sciences uh, opportunities and challenges. That is. So uh, I hope. Uh, uh, I think uh, my screen is visible right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Vinny? Yes, sir. Right. Right. Okay. I am just keeping in a slide presentation mode. Right. So pharmaceutical sciences opportunities and challenges. So before uh, I'm just because uh, uh, this is a uh, very, very fast uh, growing applied science field nowadays, because now we are all uh, facing with the uh, unknown or uh, which is not visible to our naked eye, that whatever the very small, tiny thing which is present in the nature is making a lot of uh, uh, problem around the world that is. So this how it is going to be happening means because this is a, a very, very important thing. Now we have to discuss that is what this pharmaceutical sciences is. So before I'm going to start my uh, just talk about this one, I'm just giving you the what is pharmaceutical sciences and what is pharmacy, right? So once we are going to know about this uh, uh, subject, then we will go on to what are the opportunities and what are the different courses which we are going to have in this pharmaceutical sciences and what are the uh, career opportunities especially for a student and then what are the challenges which we are going to have in this field in a uh, coming future that is that is a very very important aspect that is so in this case the first one is uh, what pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences so here uh, i think you, all of you know about that is the pharmacy means that is a, a dispense the drugs in olden days we are going to use the word dispensing that is but now we are going to call it as that is uh, whatever the pres prescribing whatever the prescription is going to be given by the doctor so that we are going to be giving to the patient that is through pharmacy that is so here the dispense the drugs and counsel the patient that is so work in the pharmacy means that is it is a pharmacies that means it is nothing but our retail shops hospitals and we are providing healthcare facilities and we are also having a, a work in research labs and pharmaceutical industry in the public uh, organizations as well as academia all these things that is so that is the pharmacy what having that uh, uh, work we are going to have that is and then coming to the practice of the profession so here we are going to say that is interact with uh, especially in the practice in the pharmacy there are two ways that is one is uh, pharmacy with respect to industry another one is with respect to practice of pharmacy that is so in this practice of pharmacy we are interacting with the patients and other healthcare professionals that is so this is the another one that is so that means pharmacy is going to uh, skilled in communication with the patients right and with the other sciences also like mathematics biology and other sciences also we are going to learn right in advanced topics that is and with respect to patient care and simultaneously ethics and empathy also that is so pharmacist is a licensed health care professional that is so this is what we are going to have that is the pharmacy that is Whereas in case of this pharmaceutical sciences means that is pharmaceutical sciences means it is the science of integrated whatever the dynamic and integrated applied science that is applied science. So that means we are going to design discovery and design of design of the drug right and then drug delivery delivery of the drug into the body. In the same way, we are also analyzing drug analysis, right? And we are also going to deal with the drug chemistry, that is, how this is going to be. And the drug action on the body, drug action on the body. 
so these are all which are and apart from these regulatory authorities so this is all going to be mill with that is uh, what we are going to have the pharmaceutical sciences that is so if this pharmaceutical sciences that means it is a dynamic and integrated subject applied science we can say it is a dynamic and integrated applied science which is going to be integrated with all the subjects like what we are going to say you see mathematics chemistry biology biochemistry microbiology with all these we are going to provide a, some a useful thing which is going to be giving to the society that means a human being in case of diseased conditions that is so that means even a patient is going to have a disease then we are going to provide a such a type of a product which he can be cured from the disease or he may be get right out of the symptoms that is so that is what we are going to call it as the pharmaceutical uh, sciences that is so in this uh, pharmaceutical sciences they are working in the industry they are in the research labs colleges as well as universities that is and we are going to that means interact with research scientist and industries also that is so that is what we are going to say that is the pharmaceutical sciences that is so pharmacy means what we are going to say we are a professional in making the medicine that is so here i am just giving you a brief fundamental one i am just giving you that is a drug is there and medicine is there so what is the difference between the drug and the medicine that is because a drug means i think uh, be, because i'm just giving you a definition of this drug that is you see a substance is used in the treatment cure prevention or diagnosis of the disease or used to otherwise enhance the physical or mental well being any substance intended for use is called drug that is so here the drug means it is the regulatory term means it is active pharmaceutical ingredient we are going to call it as that is so the sources of the drugs are either plant source or animal source or microbial source this is from the natural natural sources and mineral source that means from the earth you are going to from synthetic that means we are making by using some synthesizing the compounds and from the marine source so there are lot of sources from where we are obtaining the drug but the man cannot be taken this drug as it is why because because we have to take any substance which is essential to our body within a, a certain limit only you see anything in the nature which we have to take in up to our requirement excess to our requirement it is going to become as a toxic any anything in the nature you just take it that is whatever you required thing that is going to be with us yes it is going to give the whatever this things that is but if it is in excess it is going to become toxic in the similar way if you are going to take the drug how much amount of the drug is needed to our body to make right of this one is very very important thing that is so for that purpose what we are doing is we want some specific quantity that one what we are going to call it as dose sometimes these drugs you all know that is highly potent substances potent means even if you are going to take very small quantity right it is going to give its action if you are going to take more then it is going to become as a poison see so that's why what we are going to say there how much quantity is required that one is very very important that what we are going to call it as dose that is the drug dose but if the dose is a very very small that means if it is sometimes if it is in a micrograms sometimes it is in a milligrams but how we are going to handle that one it is very very difficult in olden days what we are going to take we are going to take along with sugar or along with some honey we are going to mix it and we are going to take that one so that is the old whatever the traditions we are going to follow that is 
but now as the science is getting development and the, whatever the technology and the scientific advancements are going to be taking place now what we are doing is that dose we are going to take it in a specified form that is form in the sense it's a physical nature physical nature means it may be in the solid or it may be in the liquid or it may be in the gas state that is so we are going to convert into some type of form which we are going to call it as a doses form so the specific dose by adding some substances then we are converting into a form and that form we are administered through a specific route that is what we are going to call it as route of administration here you see what we are going to that what we are going to call it as a medicine medicine means drug plus excipients those these excipients are nothing but inert substances they are not acting anything action on our body except the drug substance but what is the purpose of this inert substances we are converting the drug into a specified form so that we can administer easily so the patient is having a com compatibility so that's why we are going to convert into a specific Big, and also it depends on its action also. So if, suppose if you want a very fast action, drug action, then we are not taking orally. How we are going to take? We are going to take through injections. So that means it is giving its action very fast. But how we are going to take all this is. So that is what we are going to call it as a different routes of administration. Here you see, these are all oral routes. Either you can take it in a whatever the tablet this is the tablet or in the capsule or in the form of a syrup these are all through oral route some of the medicines we are going to take a very fast action quick action so where we are going to administer through our inhalation so inhalers you see especially asthmatic patients are going to be used very fast and quick action right so that is in some type of uh, asthmatic patients require this one that is so this is the inhalation route some of them are going to be administered through nose, that is the nozzle rope. Nowadays, we are going to have the vaccines which are going to be providing through this nozzle route only, that is. Now they are testing how these are going to be effective and everything. In the same way, we are going to administer through parenteral route. This is through injections, that is. Some of the drugs we are applying instilled into the eye for eye disease and all. Some of them are going to be applied on the skin, transdermal, that is. So these are all different routes of administration. So that means here what I'm saying that is drug plus excipients in a particular form administered through specific route. That is what we are going to call it as a medicine. Right. So now you have the concept between what is a drug and what is a medicine. Drug means as it is only one component. Whereas medicine means that active pharmaceutical ingredient or whatever the drug action on the body which is going to be giving along with some other ingredients which can be easily administered through specific route of administration that is you see i'm just giving you one example for that one what is that is so because the medicines are going to be prescribed by the physician or by the doctor that is but what is the pharmacist job that is the pharmacist is going to be expertise in making this medicine that is that is one not only making the medicines and dispensing the medicines because how to use that medicine is one of the very very important aspect how to use when to use through which route when what with what we have to take all these are all going to be given by the pharmacist that is so the pharmacist role is prescribing not only the making the medicines and is also giving instructions to the patient how to administer that medicine that is so these are the two important things what we are going to have that is now you see i'm just giving you this is a very well known everybody knows paracetamol we are going to nowadays we are going to use uh, through covid 19 uh, situations we are going to use the totally paracetamol tablets that is or we can say that is Dolo, Dolo 650 or Kalpal 650. This is all what is the ingredient? It is a paracetamol drug that is. It is only the paracetamol drug. But that paracetamol drug is going to be converted into tablet 
or in the form of a suspension. This is for pediatric purpose. Pediatric means for children because they are not able to swallow the tablet. So that's why we are going to make in such a way that by adding some type of agents which can have the capability of palatability. Palatability means easily we can take. That's why I told you in olden days, the drugs or whatever the extracts are, they are not that much purified forms. They are going to take along with honey in olden days or as a powder form, they will add some type of sucrose, sugar, they are going to add and they are going to take it. So you can easily take that one, that specific dose that is a very, very important. So here we are going to prepare in the form of a tablets or in the form of a suspension. So these two are medicines. Where is this is API. So now you understood that is a drug and the medicine. Medicine means whatever the expertise is by the pharmacist that is. That is a very, very important one that is. Because pharmacist knows because what to add to this paracetamol to convert into tablet. What type of ingredients and what is the physicochemical properties of this one. Is it going to be giving its action even after preparation of the tablet? Yes, that all we are going to be checked. So that is the expertise, that is the profession of the pharmacist that is. So the pharmacist will always making the medicines not only and he is also going to be dispensing that medican, medications with all the instructions through which route of administration, how to use, when to use, along with what we have to use, all these administration instructions are going to be given by the pharmacist that is. So this is one part of the pharmacist that is. And now there is another one is also the, the role of the pharmacist that is. Because now you understood about what is the pharmaceutical sciences and what is the drug and what is the uh, medicine that is. So for this, what are the courses are going to be available? That is uh, very, very, which courses we have to study? Because now maybe you are all, most of them are maybe engineering graduates. You all know that uh, initially before coming to the BTEC graduation, some of the persons, they are going to do the diploma course also, diploma. In the similar way, we are also having a 10 plus 2 after intermediate, actually, not plus 10, uh, not after 10. So after intermediate, we are going to have a one course which is going to be mainly for to have a registered pharmacist. Registered pharmacist means retail, retail pharmacy that is. So I, I, I already told you that is the drugs must be dispensed or given by a licensed pharmacist only. So for that, they will have that uh, whatever this one that is. So for that, I'll just show you that is one course, then followed by graduation, then followed by post-graduation. And then another one is a practicing pharmacy. Practicing pharmacy means we are going to discuss what are the duties and what is the function of that pharmacist, especially when it is, he is doing the practice means the profession of pharmacy that is. So the major profession of pharmacy is one is manufacturing the drugs. Another one is whatever the drug therapy, how the pharmacist play an important role because the pharmacist is a, uh, made a bridge between patient and the healthcare professional. Patient and the healthcare professional that is. So that's why he is an integral part. He is an integrate part of the healthcare system that is. So that is where he plays a very, very important role, especially that is. So now you just see what are the another important one. Yes. Now, I told you previously that is uh, just uh, you see whatever the natural source, plant, animal or microbial source, mineral source, synthetic and marine that is. So sometimes some of the substances which are required to the human body, which we cannot be manufactured are synthesized by any means if we cannot obtain from the natu natural means either plant or animal or microbial source or from the mineral or synthetic or marine sources but we are going to be get those substances from another human being that is only the thing because we cannot manufacture and we cannot get it from the nature also that is so such type of substances what we are going to call it as uh, 
or we can obtain from other type of animals, which we are going to call it as a biologics that is. You see, biologic C is the biologic drug that is a product that is produced from the living organisms or contain the components of the living organisms. So here the best example because blood. See, if any, any time what is going to be happening, we are going to have an accident or maybe a person is going to be suffering with anemia. So he is having a blood loss or maybe uh, less in the blood content, hemoglobin content. Then what we have to do compulsory, we have to give blood to that person. But from where we cannot give animal blood or in. So we have to get the blood from another human being. So the only substance which we are going to obtain from that is uh, from another human being because we cannot manufacture, we cannot synthesize. Right. So that is why we are going to this blood is one type of biologic product that is which we are going to give into uh, another human being in an emergency conditions. Not only the blood, the substances which are going to be present in the blood also we are going to be used for that purpose. So that is what we are going to say that is you see this is the blood. Blood contains as you all studied maybe at lower classes. Blood contains RBC, all the RB red blood cells and whatever the platelets and this is the plasma. Three components here. So this plasma contains so many of protein substances or factors which are essential for the growth and everything that is or protection for immune, immune protection. So because in some conditions when the patient is getting less immunity, then these substances are taken from this plasma and given to the patient. Or when he is uh, having a less hemoglobin content, the RBC is going to be excited. You see, when a patient is nowadays, you all know that is uh, dengue fever. Dengue fever, when the persons are going to be suffering, which platelet counts are going to be coming down, then what this uh, doctor will suggest, you have to compulsory take platelets. So that means from where we are going to get the platelets, we cannot manufacture, we cannot get from a, we cannot synthesize. We have to take it from the another person. That is uh, what we are going to say. This is one type of biological product that is. So now uh, the pharmacist role is also manufacturing of her preparing the blood and its components, blood and the components. So in the blood bank or in the case of preparation of all these things, we are doing all this, what we have to do, what are the standard operating procedures during blood transfusion, all are going to be involved by this pharmacist also that is. And nowadays we are also going to be manufacturing some of the products which we are going to done by latest technology. That is, you all know that uh, now olden days insulin is there. Diabetes is very well known uh, disease. For that diabetes, what we are going to do, we have to take compulsory dependent India, whatever the insulin dependent persons are going to be there because their pancreas is not able to produce the insulin. So for that compulsory, they have to take from the external source. So how to get that insulin? We are in olden days, we have to take from the hog, white pigs. We are extracting its pancreas and we are going to, but it is a not that much purified one. But now we are going to get uh, the insulin, which is similar to the whatever the uh, human being, that insulin we are going to be producing by a technology, recombinant DNA technology. So this, this is what it is showing that is human insulin, similar to that one we are producing, that is. So like that and some of the antibiotics which are obtained from the microorganisms. So these are all what we are going to call it as biologic products. But nowadays we are going to have synthetic and now these are biologics, that is. That means which are obtained from the living cells, that is, which are obtained from the living cells. So this is majorly what medicines and what are the drugs we are going to use that is from the different sources that is now coming to for these what courses we are going to study what are the different one that is you see i'm just giving you a overall picture that is first i told you that is the diploma in pharmacy a student with a 10 plus 2 minimum requirement science graduate is having a two years full-time course with a 500 hours training 
that means he is having a minimum 500 hours training in a retail pharmacy in the dispensing of medications that is so that is uh, he is going to be uh, become as a registered pharmacist who can dispense or we can uh, uh, whatever the drugs which are going to be there we give prescribed by the physician that is so he is a diploma in pharmacy that is he is a registered pharmacist that is so his job is this one that is and now coming to this uh, next one is that is a bachelor of pharmacy that is the degree in pharmacy so in once we are going to have this bachelor's degree what we are having in our andhra university we are having this uh, we, ours is the uh, second institute in india we have started the bachelor of pharmacy course in, in the entire india the first one is banaras hindu university and uh, andhra university is the second institute started in almost in uh, 1934 uh, or around that is we have started that is so the, for this now we are going to take both mathematics stream as well as biology stream so both students we are going to take that is are combined with the, those who are having this one that is it is a four years full time course that is so this is the bachelor of pharmacy and then now this is another practice of profession course now it is going to called as a pharma d that is doctor of pharmacy it is a six years program that is six years program that means we are going to have 10 plus 2 after intermediate they can directly come into this uh, pharma d or even diploma pharmacy students can also write, uh, come into this one that is it is a six years full time course including one year internship that is just like after five years they have to go for one year internship totally in the hospital in a minimum three bedded hospital that is so that's why it is a a professional practice oriented course practice oriented course that is so this is a, another one that is right and after completion of this bachelor's degree we are going to have that is a master's degree master's degree that is the m farm minimum b farm graduates can join it is a two year full time course with different specialization so we'll come afterwards that is what is the different specializations in that one and what are the advantages and everything that is and then phd that is doctor of phd in pharmacy that is doctoral course which is a m farm where we are going to have full time program and part time with a, a minimum 2 to 3 years we can perform that one so that we are going to get this. so these are the various uh, uh, opportunities for a uh, 10 plus 2 students who are going to have this one that is right so what are their uh, job opportunities and what are their careers after completion of this one that is so that is a uh, very even because uh, this is this is a such a noble profession because we are dealing with whom not a, a non living things we are dealing with living things so that means we should have moral and ethical whatever the rules we have to follow that is and we have to always look into the safety and efficacy of that patient health care system that is so that is the very very important thing that is so for that you see once i told you diploma in pharmacy once he has completed those who are having he are having uh, whatever the things that is means he, he may be as in a retail pharmacy that is you see so in the diploma in pharmacy how that is the retail pharmacist how he is going to be dispensing the medications that is so he is take the prescription once he is taking the prescription and he is going to give counsel the patient so how to take and when to take uh, uh, with what we have to administer and how we have to store it that is also very very important because once we have taken that whatever the uh, medicines from the retail pharmacy we have to properly store it in our house if you are not properly store it in the house then it loses its efficacy that is one of the important one a common man has to uh, think about that one that is because some of this uh, uh, grand parents or maybe mothers because they are going to take forget the, to take whatever the drug or whatever the medicine or anything so in the for that purpose they are going to keep it at somewhere in the kitchen or anything so easily we can recognize and easily we can recollect that i have to take the dose and but you should not do like that that is because they should be properly keep it at a, a specified whatever the temperature on that label what they have given 
some of the drugs some of the medicines you have to keep it in the refrigerator just like you see insulin injection we should always keep it in the refrigerator before we are going to take the injection half an hour before we have to keep it outside and then you have to take that one that is like that some of the medications which require at a cold temperature that is so you have to properly store otherwise it is loses its whatever the activity or the efficacy so all these things are going to be given properly and how to administered with what along with what what is the dose we have to take especially these are all going to be counseled given by the retail pharmacist that is before he is going to be dispensed that medication that is this is the plus two after pharmacy whatever the diploma in pharmacy whereas after graduation i told you b pharmacy he is going to be acting as a manufacturing pharmacist that is manufacturing means in the industry that is he is having an opportunity yes not only in industry now now they are also going to have r and d and other things are also going to be having a specified skills that is so one just example i have given you he is going to this is a tablet manufacturing section where the tablets are going to be uh, compressed so here actually the operator is a diploma in pharmacist but here the manufacturing of this one is all are going to be supervised by the manufacturing pharmacist that is a, who is a professional to know about the ingredients which we are going to add i told you medicines are nothing but what not only the drugs along with other inert substances means what they are they are just for a handle that whatever the drug in a proper form and take it with a proper therapeutic efficacy that is and safety that is so for that purpose they are manufacturing in such a way that is so this is the manufacturing forms that is now the next what we are going to have is practice of profession that means i told you in case of uh, this uh, whatever the pharma uh, d students that is that means it is a six years totally with a pra practicing of functions that is so they what they are going to do mostly they are going to be related with the hospitals now in our india uh, our university andhra university is the first government university started this uh, pharma d course in our uh, andhra pradesh that is we are uh, first started that uh, uh, pharma d course by government institute that is because now every whatever the pharma d course we are going to take it should be compulsory attach it to a minimum 300 bedded hospital so that means ours are uh, having an mou with uh, king george hospital which is a very big one so every day our students are going to be visiting in the morning hours that means after fourth year they are going to the hospital they are they are spending along with the doctors what their duties i will just show it to you that is what they are doing that is right so that is the pharma d program that is so what is their duties means i will just show it to you that is you see the pharma d students in, during their whatever this one they are mostly with respect to drug action on the body pharmacotherapeutics that is and pharmacology drug action and the treatment once the doctor is going to be prescribing any medicine so he is going to be consult with whatever the pharmacist that is hospital pharmacist that is whether the dose is going to because what is the duties of the hospital pharmacist that is is there any errors are going to be taking place in the prescription that is so that is going to be given suggestions or maybe to the doctor physician because the pharmacist is expertise yes you have to take this medicine along with this one only you should not take with other things if we are going to see the best example some of the tablets if you are going to take along with milk it is not having any effect the best example some of the antibiotics that is because it is going to form a complex with milk then it won't be absorbed then it is not showing its action that is so like that because the pharmacist is expertise to know about the drug action and the drug properties and other ingredients also that is so for that purpose he is going to be suggesting and he is also moving along with the doctor while he is going to be prescribing writing the prescription because not only one medicine the doctor is going to be giving uh, other medicines also so whether this medicine is going to be taking along with the other medicine is it showing any effect or not this is all going to be given by this uh, hospital pharmacist that is 
So a hospital pharmacist is a drug information center. That means with respect to reactions, any type of adverse reactions and everything. I will just tell you one more so that is. So this is the what the hospital pharmacist is going to be doing. So the farmers, these students, they are going to be working as a hospital pharmacist or they are also going to be acting as another one, clinical pharmacist. Clinical pharmacist means what is going to be happening that is the drug action on the body is continuously monitored, especially in the critical care patients. Critical care means you all know that is ICU on top. So intensive care units. In that intensive care units, the drugs are going to be given through IV route. Because the, sometimes the patient is unconscious state or maybe the patient is a post-operative case, he is uh, going for surgery or anything that is. So in such conditions, how much dose we have to give? Because some patients are very old. They are, they are having some problems, other problems. So in such conditions, what type of things we have to give means how we have to adjust that dose so that the drug is going to be affecting very perfectly that is. Therapeutic drug monitoring, that means what we are going to say. So that is going to be done by this clinical pharmacist. So at what dose we have to give this IV injection, how much ML we have to inject into that IV fluid so that it is going to give you this action. Right. So this is all going to be suggested by this uh, given to be given by this uh, clinical pharmacist that is. So clinical pharmacist along with the doctor, they will fix the dose and they are going to be given and continuously they will monitor. And is there any type of uh, other reactions are coming or anything that is therapeutic drug monitoring is going to be there. So always our body should have a sufficient concentration on it. If it is not more than that, and it should not be less than. If it is less than that, it won't give the action. If it is more than that, again, it is showing it toxic or poisonous. So now this, whatever the pharma D students, that's why they are having a one-year internship. With, they are moving along with the other healthcare professionals, especially during the prescription and during the administration of whatever the medicines to the patients that is. So their main job is that is especially in the hospital studies. So the pharma D course is totally hospital oriented. That is the practicing the profession that is. So that's why they have to take utmost, utmost care that is. So they have to take at most uh, precautionary things also. They have to look into that what are the things everything that is. Right. So this is what you are having a pharma D course that is. Now coming to the post graduation. Once we are going coming to the M pharmacy, there are various specializations, right? So these specializations, which are going to be helpful in case of drug discovery and design, right? How the drug is going to be discovered and how it is going to be designed. What about its drug action, right? So this is all now we are going to learn in various specializations that is by integrity of all these specializations we are going to learn more things that is right so this is what you are having in case of uh, uh, next one is you see drug development that is so initially before we are going for the drug this is all they must have a specialized areas especially m farm that is a master's in pharmacy clinical safety assessment first that is the preclinical studies Preclinical studies means before we are going to administer to the human beings, we have to do that whatever the experiments in a animal studies, that is what we are going to call it as a preclinical, that is. So once we are going to have the preclinical studies, then it is showing good results, then we will come into the development studies, that is. You see how we are going to now the coronavirus vaccine, that is. So the vaccine initially we have tested it preclinically in animals. In the animals, it is showing good results. Then we are going to be developed into a vaccine preparation with a specific farm that is that is the pharmaceutical technology. What pharmaceutics development and everything. Drug action means this is the one specialization pharmacology, and pharmaceutical technology or pharmaceutics means it is a formulation aspects. And analysis means after an, an, uh, whatever the formation, we have to analyze about it. So for this, this is a chemistry that is the synthetic chemistry as well as all this is a process r and &D. So once we are going to develop this one, then we are going to give in to the patients that is. So that is the clinical studies that is. 
that is the clinical we are going for so for this whether this regulatory body cc once we are going to get a good results then what we are doing we are applying to the government body that is the dcg a drug control general of india for approval to send into the market so regulatory of authorities and everything they are going to be uh, going through all our whatever the data are there. so this is uh, especially in the mpharmc what they are going to be doing in this one that is you see so this is the process uh, drug development i told you that is a drug discovery and development preclinical research clinical research government review post marketing so for this you see how much time it will take you see for only drug discovery and preclinical it is 3 to 6 years whereas clinical research it will take 6 years so this is for a new chemical entity new chemical molecule that is so that means once the drug discovered means it will take minimum 10 to 15 years that is you see 3 plus 6 9 plus 2 government review 11 and what are this one 10 to 15 years so in such a case how we are going to release the vaccine within a span of one year so that means we have to take utmost care about the it that is so for that purpose what we are going to so this is the entire masters as well as doctoral um, phd in pharmacy they are doing a different roles with different specializations so now you see the career aspects that is uh, the first one is that is the quality control or quality assuring pharmaceutical manufacturing and regulatory bodies yes now the latest one is the pharmaco vigilance pharmaco vigilance means you see vigilance means only that is uh, they are going to be observing that identifying and assessing and what are the adverse reactions we are going to get for any type of this one right any adverse reactions are there how to prevent that means how to modify if any death or anything is there then we have to immediately stop you see covid vaccine once it is entered into the market they are continuously monitoring what type of adverse reactions are going to be obtaining that is some of them are complaining as a uh, some clots in the brain or some of them are getting have some nausea or vomiting maybe fevers or dizziness so these are all adverse reactions now we are mostly concentrating on the safety of the drug so now this is the latest uh, whatever the branch which is came into this one totally with respect to safety as safety aspects that is so how to minimize the adverse reactions and how to watch that is the surveillance pharmaco vigilance is surveillance that is right so this is now another one and hospital and community pharmacy this is all and clinical trials that means so that means in case of uh, for whatever the clinical research this is also very and academics research and development and apart from this marketing farm so once the uh, pharmacy graduate along with mba who is having a most uh, beautiful career in pharmaceutical marketing that is and now medical writing also medical coding is now uh, they are going to be especially for uh, this uh, whatever the insurance companies they require some type of this uh, um, whatever their billing purpose the doctors are giving some type of surgeries with a specific so that coding are going to be learned by the pharmacists b pharm graduates so that they are going to be writing clearly that is now this is also another uh, after information technology this medical coding is also one of the quality control and assurance so the safety and efficacy of the drug that is so this is what are the opportunities of this one we are going to have for a post graduation students or anything now the challenges the challenges are two aspects that is with respect to pharmacy practice with respect to pharmaceutical product the aspects means you see the ph- quality pharmaceutical care once the patient is going to be uh, admitted in the hospital he should be treated properly without any adverse reactions so that means whatever the prescription whatever the uh, pharmacist is going to be giving that correctly that uh, whatever the uh, drug of choice that is the which type of medicines is required for that one so that the patient is going to be leading a whatever the normal healthy life along with the doctors that is so so now that medication treatment all these are all going to be involved with the pharmaceutical care so that the pharmacist will have 
uh, a good uh, quality training that is so for that he requires skills development that is the challenge so they are now coming with uh, this uh, whatever the clinical pharmacist or hospital pharmacist or maybe along with in the retail pharmacy how to prescribe and how to counsel the patients now community pharmacists are also there so they are also doing a similar type of job in a community that is so this is all this is all nowadays challenges that means how best we are going to improve the quality of life by doing a, a quality pharmaceutical care that is that is with respect to practicing of pharmacy with respect to product means in the manufacturing side we have to provide a product with a good quality that is a therapeutic efficacy and safety also that is these two are very very important therapeutic efficacy and safety so that the customer is satisfied so now this is going to be done by quality by design now you all know that is uh, some of them are going to be doing uh, six sigma or uh, even in engineering students also now we are not testing the quality at the end of the pro after the finished product what we are doing is we are inbuilting the quality into the product that means whatever the product we are getting it is 100 percent uh, having quality that is so that means zero effect zero errors what we are going to say that is so this is quality by design that is how we are going to do it by product design process design process performance and desired product performance that is so with all these we are going to have a continuous improvement so this is now the challenge is how best we are going to give a quality product with safety and therapeutic efficacy now you see whatever the covid vaccine we are going to getting what we are thinking no 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 covid shield is best no 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 whatever the covaxin is best you are thinking like that that is means how best quality means with respect to its safety and simultaneously it's good its therapeutic efficacy also these are the now the challenges because for this regulatory aspects all are very very important that is so this is uh, just in a nutshell what i am going to give you that is uh, what uh, a pharmacy uh, pharmaceutical sciences and its uh, opportunities and challenges that is i hope uh, uh, hello uh, hello hello vini yes sir Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I hope uh, uh, I have given to uh, basic information regarding what is the pharmaceutical sciences opportunities and challenges. That is. I said, yes, sir. Thank you very much uh, for uh, giving me this uh, opportunity uh, for our uh, university administration, especially from uh, uh, engineering college autonomous. That is, uh, uh, I think. Uh, they are organizing this uh, Gita platform. It is a very uh, useful to the students because now what is this one is it is a holistic approach. Not only the student is gaining the knowledge in his discipline, but in a multidisciplinary aspect also the student is getting knowledge. Now the students having an interest to do any course in the pharmaceutical field to know about that one, which is a value added course, which is now it is nothing but uh, what our NEP 2020 National Educational Program 2020 is mainly concentrating on the holistic approach of the student that is because the student is not only masters in his prof profession, but he is also knowing about all the streams so that there is an integrity in all the that is the multidisciplinary aspect of this. Right? So I think uh, uh, students have taken to some extent, I don't know. But uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I'm uh, once again thanks to uh, my uh, colleague, that means Engineering College uh, Professor, uh, Professor uh, P. Malikarjan Ragaru, now who is a HOD of uh, Electrical Engineering, right, uh, has uh, given me this opportunity for me to just extend to maximum what is the possible way to give the information regarding the pharmaceutical sciences so thank you very much sir thank you thank you thank you very much sir it was a really a good informative session sir and i hope all the students are really uh, enjoyed this session
<clears throat> thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. you on, our, on our platform, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Any, any, any queries or anything is there? Always welcome. You me. Right any, now, any... There are... right now, no, there are no. no. Right. Okay, okay. If anything is there, just give me my mail ID. I have given you. Right. Sure. Sir. Right. Sure. Right. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right. Shall I leave? Yes, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, everyone. I, I hope this session is a really informative session. And uh, I want to thank our professor, Malika, uh, Malika Jingaru, who started this platform. And also thank uh, uh, AU Computer Cell and also Ramoshadha ma'am for uh, supporting this platform and also uh, and reaching this platform in uh, various ways. <clears throat> Thank you all for supporting and please uh, stay tuned to our channel and more uh, interesting videos are coming up. And uh, thank you for making us a thousand subscriber family. Uh, and I hope you, uh, this uh, <clears throat> support will be going on. Thank you. Jai.